Hello there, welcome back to the Yoga, the old Git Reacts Reviews and Off Times Reminisces. Um, today you're doing a song which um, is an obscure classic as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and the reason I'm doing it is because it shouldn't be obscure at all. Um, but speaking to friends of mine who uh, were into punk rock um, back then, uh, none of them have heard of this, uh, which I found somewhat extraordinary. But uh, there you go. Um, and it's Satellites. And it's not Urban Gorilla, it's another song where it's the B-side or the other side that um, I'm going to listen to, um, High Rise Hillbillies, which is intriguing enough in its, itself. Um, and if I remember rightly, this isn't the album cover, uh, album cover, single cover either, I'm sure it was a different cover to this. I might be getting that round my neck as well as I want to do, because uh, my copy is uh, in an attic somewhere. Um, and it'd need a uh, well-funded expedition to try and reclaim it. But anyways, um, let's have a listen, shall we? Okay, well, first things first, uh, I've not listened to this for quite some time, um, but um, it's no revelation to me on re listening to it. What a. <laughs> uh, what should I say here? Yeah, the production, it's crap in it, um, but it's crap in a way that's good. It's one of those sort of things. Um, Regular visitors to this channel, the few of you, the wonderful few, the golden few, um, will know I like the Merc, uh, and I like I don't like things uh, crystal clear, so I like this, uh, despite its woeful production, uh, and being produced by Ratscabies, as it says just there, look, um, he must have been pissed, very pissed, if he calls that, um, what at the time <laughs> would have been called a wanky production, uh, but as I say, it, it works for me. Um, um, yes, chaotic is the word that comes to mind when when you, when you listen or when, when you describe this track. It um, it's all over the place in a glorious way. Much as I've tried to hide it, there's a, clearly a little bit of proficiency in there, musical proficiency, um, as evidenced by the, the solo. Um, um, but it's all frantic stuff, and it's as if um, none of, <laughs> it's as if they've all sort of none of these folks know each other. They've just turned up and given um, a sheet of music, 
uh, no instructions whatsoever and just gone for it um, but again it all works um, I'm sure they were all pissed as well as Ratscabies probably was when they played this um, it's rambunctious but it's very engaging um, and they've you know I think they've even tried to cram the kitchen sink into this one there's all sorts going off um, you know if you want a, a full sound here it is So there you go. Uh, yes, they were having a bit of a riot there, weren't they? Um, it's a song that uh, is punk rock in equal measure. And what I mean is it's punk and it's rock in equal measure. Um, there's um, even a little bit of... Um, what's that genre that came in? Psycho Billy, I think they call it at some point, um, that came in after punk sort of uh, fractured. Uh, there's even some of that sort of riffage in there at points. But uh, it's all very... Um, <laughs> out there not out there maybe not out there but uh, it's all sort of um, held together by safety pins and sticky tape isn't it it's sort of about to fall apart at any minute um, but the fact it sort of uh, carries on regardless is is is, is glorious um, the rest of satellite stuff is worth a listen it's not quite as chaotic as that uh, by and large um, but still as its merits and um, well worth checking out. You have the the, uh, the ease of the interwebs nowadays to do so. Not we didn't in those days. Um, but yes, what more to say? It was um, confusing at the time. Um, I suppose my brain now is that puddled that uh, it doesn't confuse them anymore. <laughs> but it still uh, excites. Clicky bollocks. Cheerio. See you next time.